If only Marty would work that hard, we'd be set. Today, we're taking a look at something that holds a very special place in my heart. The Steve Lee Parable. Or actually, I should say, <gasps> the Stanley Parable. <laughs> And the reason why this is a special game to me is because when I was younger, I loved the Stanley Parable. It was a game unlike anything I had ever played before. And it was funny and interesting in ways you wouldn't expect. And if you're somebody who's never experienced this game before, I'd be glad to be the first person to show you how it goes. It's a little something like this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, hey! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And Stanley was happy. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Well, better start the day. Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could this mean? Steve decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had missed a memo. I don't want to go to the meeting room. When Steve came to a set of two open doors, he entered the one on his left. That door does look pretty good. That is a good looking door, if I've ever seen one. But the door on the right? That's the door you go in when you want to mess things up. I'm feeling edgy today. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Steve knew it. Maybe he wanted to stop by the employee lounge. Man, this place rocks. You know, this place, a lot of crazy things happen in this place. Ah, yes. What a room worth admiring. It was worth the detour to stop by this amazing room. Okay, the break room was nice. The break room was nice. I think we should probably go through the correct door. Or we can't, because the door's shut now and I'm stuck here. Eager to get back on track, Steve took the first open door on his left. You guys know me too well, it's the edgy door! Steve was just so bad at following directions, it's a wonder he wasn't fired years ago. Hey. Look Steve, I think we're starting off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, I'm really not. I realize that trust is a difficult thing. Just please, stop trying to make every decision for yourself. Or is that too hard for you, Steven? To let someone else guide you? Is that unthinkable? This narrator guy is getting too serious, man. I just, I just, it's not that serious. This is it, Steve, your chance to redeem yourself. It's time to put your work aside and let her back into your life. What are you talking about? Um, hello? <laughs> Honey, I've missed you so much, I love you! Ha ha ha, gotcha! Oh wait, it's a mannequin, you- Ah! Did you actually think you had a wife? I'm sorry if that joke hit too close to home, I'm trying to make a point here, Steve. Whoa, new content, door! I love new content! Oh, I love new content, yes! What? Oh, is this what you were expecting, Steve? Is this the new content that you thought it would be? What is this now? New content under construction. Come on, man. What is this? Where'd the office go? Yeah, where is it? All right. It looks like the new content is now under construction. Huh. We could climb this ladder. Steve, how'd you get up there? Open. What is this, man? Steve, don't go in there. What are you hiding from me? Please, turn around. I don't want to see you hurt. I'm going, I'm going to this portal, dude. You're hiding some- Where am I? No! I'm in the upside down. See, Steve? This is why I didn't want you to see this place. Okay, door on my left. Got it. Got it. We're doing it right this time. Or the game gets mad at me and throws me into the hellish realm. Looks like no one's here. Maybe I didn't get the memo. Steve went upstairs to his boss's office. Wait. No, he didn't. He went downstairs. That's right, Steve's on a rampage. But Steve just couldn't do it. What would his boss even say to him? As Steven pondered, he started to notice strange things. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Hey, you're right. Steven had come to a realization. He was dreaming. What a relief, he thought to himself. His coworkers weren't gone. But Steve began to panic. No matter what he tried, he couldn't wake up. He yelled out, wake up. Anyone, please help, wake up. But no one replied. 
I'm in a coma? No, I'm not. This is what happens when you don't do what the game says. Okay, boss's office. Hey, hey, boss. How you doing? Where are you? Is he gone too? Yeah, he's gone. No one's here. Nice. What could all this mean, Steve wondered. He began to look through the cabinets. I don't see anything in the cabinets, narrator. I don't know what I don't know what you're trying to do here. Oh, hey, there's a keypad over here. The boss had assigned a secret pin number, which was 2845. Thank you, narrator. Suddenly, a passageway Steve had never seen before opened up. <gasps> Whoa! Boss has been getting busy with construction. Look at this place. Secret passageway and everything. Oh, that's not good. This is, this is not good. Steve walked straight ahead through the door labeled Mind Control Facility. Escape. Mind Control. Escape. Mind Control. Although the path was marked escape, it actually was something else. No, only death awaited Steve at the end of this hall. I don't believe you. I don't I don't believe you. Steve had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nope, nope, nope. He knew that continuing down this hall meant nothing but pain and death. <laughs> Stop it. You're scaring me. Pit of death. Hmm. Ah! Haha, -ha, it wasn't death. You lied. All you have to do is behave just as Steve would. Okay, I'm Steve. This means choosing responsibly and always putting your story first. Don't worry, it's not that hard. Just follow my lead. You'll be fine. When Steve came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Those doors are closed, my friend. Okay, um, should we do it? Should we, should we go in the right door? I feel like he'll probably get really mad if we do that, so let's do it! No! Why did you do that? Hurry, go back in the other direction. Hopefully we're not too late. <laughs> Good lord, what happened here? It's all ruined. I can't believe that after everything we talked about. You still destroyed my work. I might as well shut the game down now that I know it can't be controlled. Hey, listen, I'm still playing the game. Ah, uh, yes, I think I'll shut down the game. I have to. Don't shut down the game! Where am I? I'm back at the doors. Behave just as Steve would. Okay, fine. Fine. I will be Steve. I'll be a good Steven now. We go upstairs. We go to the boss's office. We're gonna get the good ending this time. Okay, so we're not gonna go escape because that's a trick. That's a trap. We're going in the mind control room. I love mind control. Love it. This is my favorite place in the whole world. The lights rose, revealing an enormous room packed with television screens. The monitors on the wall suddenly jumped to life with their true nature revealed. Was this mind control facility really true? Had Steve really been under someone's control the whole time? Steve had found the secret source of the system's power. He knew what he had to do. He had to end this horrible place. Do I shut off the mind control device or do I turn it on? I'm gonna turn it on. Did you really just do that? Oh, Steven. You've been enslaved by the system all these years. Is that what you want? Control? I applaud your effort. I really do. But you were supposed to turn it off. Would it kill you to follow my story? Oh god, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? I'm running. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna make it out of here. I, I think, uh, I think, I think, I, I don't know. I don't... Okay, fine, we turn it off. Yes, he had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away.